hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn about fee data which is a new entry into the world of uh, agents and rag and sql agent and different stuff related to llm like langchain langsmith uh, lama index uh, kind of a crew ai and then this is fee data this fee data is very powerful and it is very easy to use so in this video you will learn a few things about fee data and in the end we will learn how to build a rag chatbot using fee data so for that i'll go to the documentation of this fee data and you can see uh, it has llm memory knowledge and tools so here in the assistant section there are different uh, kinds of assistant that you can create uh, let's very quickly create this uh, demo assistant so i'll copy the code and for that i'll go to my visual studio code and first i need to create a new virtual environment then i'll activate my virtual environment and here let's say uh assis dot py okay so it says use open ai model gpt 3.5 and this is a description of the assistant here are some instruction uh, that you can provide uh, the debug mode and then you use this print response to get the response of this things and obviously for that we need to install fee data so here in the introduction section you will see yeah how to install fee data so i'll copy that and i'll paste this oh sorry my bad yeah yeah now in order to run this i'll also need to provide my api key as well uh, for that i'll create a new dot env file and here i'll say open ai underscore api underscore key and that will be the the value will be the uh, key value and here further i'll say pip install python hyphen dot env to read env files now i'll stop the video very quickly and provide my api key here now i have done that what i'll do is that i'll say from dot env import load and find and then i'll load and find the dot env and here uh, obviously i need to import os as well and here i'll say os dot get env open ai underscore api underscore key and when i save this and when i come here i'll say python assistant dot py oh it says no module name open ai pip install open ai yeah let me run this now you'll see the logs as well and you'll see the beautiful streamed result as well and you can see it was fast okay so you know this is very easy to use now let's look into a uh, uh, rag assistant 
there is assistant there is rag assistant so this is you know like 20 lines of code and you will have your um, rag assistant for this uh, you need to you you need to have uh, any vector data store at this point only few vector data stores are available uh, i'm not sure yeah pg vector a single store this lens db and pine cone so i'll be using uh, pg vector for that you need to copy this and before that obviously you need to have your uh, docker installed now so i'll come here and let me create a new terminal and in that i'll paste this command and my db name is ai i'll say uh, my username is ai and my password is ai okay i don't have any problem with that and i'll hit enter so it will first you know download the image and it will do the stuff uh, let's you know move further and pg vector pi pdf okay you need to install these things so i will copy those things and i'll be coming here i'll paste these things and yeah, so it will install all of these things and I'll come here and let me create a new file rag underscore assistant dot pi. Okay, so you can see here uh, it is it is using a DB URL on which it will store all the things uh, this is the url of uh, of the of the document that you want to use but obviously there are other things from which you can you know uh, load knowledge and here is my collection name my db url a uh, few things uh, assistant create assistant recreate false so if it is there you will not create it and then how do i make uh, pad thigh so let me run this and hopefully yeah this is done and let me check the pg vector stuff as well let me check my docker yeah so pg vector is running as well so now if i come here and if i say python rag assistant it will take some time i guess yeah loading uh, oh yeah open ai api key is not there so for that here in the assistant section i need to pass llm let me get it from here okay and let me import the os as well and not there so i'll get it from here okay and in the case of uh, knowledge base i guess uh, we need some embedding function as well let me check yeah so let me do this uh, from fee dot yeah embedder there is embedder dot uh, olama is there open ai is there let's use open ai import open ai embedder and here i'll say open ai embedder and the api key is os dot get env and i'll pass this value so it will work okay yeah 
let me save this and let's run it hopefully this time it will work oh it again says that how come oh my really bad my bad uh, I need to use this here and now if I do yeah now I'm 100% sure that we are good to go and we don't have to okay no problem let's try this now yeah you can see it's taking time committed 10 documents added 14 documents to the knowledge base so total 14 documents and you can see the response here as well so this is this is very good okay now let's grab the response here uh, in a variable so there is a run method and let's say response and i'll print response and let me come back here and let me run this hopefully we'll receive a response okay oh i think we need to use stream false here Oh, I guess when we use stream false, it is a string then finally. yeah you can see we got a beautiful response here now what i'll do is that very quickly i'll create a gradio ui.py file and i'll say mm, first let me install pip install gradio and then Yeah, meanwhile, let me very quickly grab the code for Gradio as well. And yeah, oh, Lama Gradio part is here. So let me copy this very quickly. Yeah, let me copy this. Okay, so this is a boilerplate code for gradio i don't need uh, okay i don't need this uh, we have assistant so we can uh, this is not this one this one so i can you know remove all of this or let me comment this here I'll say uh, from reg assistant import assistant and here in the response part assistant dot run and then messages equals to for matter messages yeah so uh, this is if you have followed my tutorial uh, this is a standard boilerplate gradio interface we have gradio block chatbot message and clear button on message submit we'll first send set the user's query 
and then wait for uh, the chatbot to reply and here we'll grab the query from the chat history format it in a way that uh, the assistant can clearly understand generate a response and set the response as the chatbot element and i think i don't need to do this because this is uh, iterator but if i do um, stream false here yeah this will be uh, let me save this this will be text obviously it was text when we did that so yeah so let's run this very quickly gradio gradio ui yeah uh, let me copy this let me come here let me paste this yeah we okay let me zoom out a bit yeah you can see we have a beautiful interface and let me say hi fingers crossed yeah you can see oh it worked out of the box without any error yeah you can see uh, we we wrote hi and we got a response hello how can i assist you and there was a question yeah how do i make this thing let's try this hopefully Yeah, you can see we got a response. So uh, you can see that from, you know, very few lines of code, we have created our own rag chatbot and which is kind of uh, accurate. And, uh, you know, you can utilize this to build small POCs as well. You can build different things out of uh, this. So I hope this tutorial is informative to you. And before I wrap up, I would like to show that I have a small community on nas.io called learn everything about chatbots. And here I share knowledge about chatbots and different things related to chatbot. So if you want to learn more about chatbots, you can join my free community. The link for this is in the description as well. The code I have used is available on my github and the link will be in the description as well so again i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace